Howdy, howdy, everybody. We are here at our first unit. We um, we actually, actually it's our second unit. Yeah, but you'll see what we got in the first unit. It wasn't worth making a whole video of. No. So um, you'll see that at the end of this video when we get back to the shop because it's already set up for sale. Y'all, it's so cold. So this is a 10 by 15. We are in Snellville. Snellville, Georgia, and um, it's 10 by 15. Pay 220 dollars for it. So we're gonna go through it and see what we can find to make a profit. My name is Colton, this is Courtney. We resell on eBay and in a thrift store. Hey, before we get started, y'all like that video, share it and subscribe. Subscribing is completely free and we would greatly appreciate it. We'll see y'all in a minute. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Chow so cold. So they left the tag on it for us to pop. And I don't know if I got half that, but y'all know I hate outdoor units. So damn son. So Dang, this is the one we got first. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Come back here for a second. Okay, step back. Remember that picture you showed me last night? Right. What do you not see? The Jordans. Remember them things were sitting on top of what? Something. I got the looking phone, y'all. Something's not adding up. So, Miss Courtney just noticed something's missing, she thinks. I don't remember what I bought, so I got to check. Cause remember you showed it to me last night and you said... Look, look. at those Jordans. Cause that shoe barrel was up on top of those boxes. Are they pulling something sneaky on us? Why is this wind coming from, man? I don't know, but holy I, cow! It is rough. Look at the pictures. Look. At the, yep, we're missing a cooler. We're missing a few things. That was not up there. See, look. Here's my picture. So hang on, y'all. Hang on, y'all. Look at the picture. Okay, so that up there. And what do y'all? And see, there's no cooler. There's no shoes. This barrel right this here. This thing has been completely restacked. Was up there. And the shoes that we wanted are gone. Here's that barrel of shoes. I told you as soon as you open it, it's something's not right. I'm about to go ahead up to the facility. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm looking to see if what all's been moved. See, th this is this is all wrong, you guys. So this stuff up here is stacked up how it was supposed to be. Stuff at the front door is gone. So we're missing all the shoots. They were sitting on top of a uh, this is where they were sitting on top of. It. This was sitting in the floor. There's the cooler. Well, don't move anything. Don't move anything. We'll just go up there and tell them stuff's been gone. It's been opened. Alright, you want me to go ahead and walk up here? Or you want to call them and tell them to come down here so I don't have to walk all the way up there? Yeah, I would call them. Okay. Yeah, we'll come back to you in a second. That was at the door is gone, gone or moved. Or moved. Yeah, if you don't mind. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Uh, he's feeling in today. He doesn't know. Honey, stop. Stop. They're gonna come down here. I Y'all see me just break that dryer? <laughs> Are you listening? 
see this orange bucket is right there. It's supposed to be right there on the grill with a lampshade next to it. Lampshade's gone. Maybe on the other side. No, look. Okay. Okay. I need to go. So, the pictures of the store treasures, as you can see, there's a cooler and stuff on the floor, some shoes, and on top of the grill was the orange okay. thing. The, the orange thing's moved, moved. The, the cooler's moved or gone. This is all moved, that's yeah. been pushed up, there was a blue thing in it. Because here's the pictures you can see, and like the ladder was in there, and now it's right here. Like somebody's been in here. Well, I'm one of the few people that's here. The other person here is my store manager, and it's so. Let's just put it this way: I, I I'm new to this company, about three or four months old, but this is not my first rodeo in storage. I know better than to go into someone's unit. You don't go in. I, I, I'm not saying you no, did. No, I'm just no, saying I'm, somebody. I just wanted. I just wanted on the yeah. record that that, it, that I I know better not to go in. Like you say, the great thing, take yeah, yes. their way up. That's there. that's precisely why we take these pictures because and they're supposed to be untouched. The Nikes there. Yeah. And they're gone. They're, they're supposed to be untouched right. until you crack open that unit. That's why I didn't take yeah, that red tag off. Right. Because if I put the red tag on, you're the only person that's supposed we to be able to take it off. off. So it's sometimes it's like, and, 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 it's and like that is, y'all did it, was that like the right paper that was on your original paperwork? Well, that is, well, that's why we leave that on there for you because you should be able to verify that number. So that, so the only other way that something could be moved is if someone has gone, has gone into auction, paid out, took some stuff out, and then went back into auction. Y'all don't retake the pictures after that happens. Normally we do, but but just rare like. In a in a rare, very rare case, if if for some reason we're busy or something like now, no, that's not supposed to happen. Yes, we are supposed to take pictures of every time someone goes into auction. But the the only way, the only explanation that I could think of is that if somebody was bought bought themselves out of the last auction, because a lot of people are unfortunately repeat auction people. So maybe they took what they needed out of the auction and then just left the unit basically without even any documentation or paperwork or without any explanation to the office without saying like, hey, I'm abandoning the unit. Sometimes that happens. Maybe they just took what they wanted and then left. Right. But y'all can't sell a unit that's been done that way without retaking pictures. Radiant doors. So, <laughs> so technically, yes, you're, 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 you're supposed to retake pictures, yes. But I wasn't, again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying y'all did it. I'm just saying that. Well, somebody, I mean, that's what, somebody. No, no, no. What, what, if it wasn't, so if it wasn't, if it wasn't a random, like a, let me see something. Yeah, no. So this doesn't. So nobody. I mean, in order for them to break in, they would have had to have broken in and then put a red seal tag on the unit and our overlock on the unit. Right. So if yeah, it wasn't well, I mean, a random customer, if it wasn't the I mean, original customer. Right after y'all took the picture. Well, it's, it's, it's probably it's, uh -huh. it's probably what you say. Uh -huh. They just read the pictures. Yeah. But and I can ask the general manager too. Um, I mean, we'll still take it, but I hate to pay what I paid and not have everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so if you um, if you'll take a screenshot of those pictures and send them to the email um, to just let me know when you're ready. Is it the one on my invoice? I was whichever one keep it 100. <laughs> There's a whole lot of weird things that happen that are a little um, beyond orthodox in my taste for, for, for me being in the storage business for over 10 years that are happening that's happening on this property. So I don't know what exactly. I'm not saying it's any, anything nefarious, but just to be on the, just to be sure, please send those pictures and I will get to the bottom of it. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll email them to you. Please do. Thank you. Um, because yeah, that is not now. Like I said, it could have it could have been something as simple as. But then the next question is, why didn't that person take, take pictures, pictures of yeah. the unit? Right. Yeah, and see, I'm by by law, every part of the auction step, especially when it comes to customers' unit or anything interacting or interfacing with this customers with any customers' unit, you're supposed to be a witness. Me. I've never seen this unit before. I've never, I don't even, I've never seen the inside of this unit before. I've never even been to this unit before. Right. So, right. So, so maybe, maybe well, they just didn't retake pictures of the. Of I'm the assuming that's newest. what happened. I can tell from the picture, nothing mm -hmm. passed probably where this blue bucket is back has been touched. Yeah. It's just everything, it's just everything that forward. This forward of the bucket. Yeah, but I mean, that's still a little bit weird because 
essentially stuff's I, been moved i could reject this unit okay i could turn it away so i'm not getting it i've done got truck rental we're already here and i can sell well, let me this. shift in here a little bit so the wind's not so blowy i can okay. look at the pictures and tell nothing up here has been moved okay i can still sell this stuff and yeah we're probably not gonna find a safe in here so we're not allowed to remove that red tag. So that would be the only case where we would not be able to take pictures again if we put that red tag on there. That sounds a little it sounds a little weird, but if the customer never comes back, but then again that it's still how it's still strange. Get, yeah, how do they get in? Right, it's still in right, right, it's still strange that something is missing, but I, but just the heads up, if someone is previously an auction, that would be the well, only way to take pictures. The sales there to show that it's not been tampered with. Right. right. And that's what we and take the pictures. Was right. So and would you let me take a can you take a picture of that of that seal? Yeah. That tag. And would you mind like sending a picture of that seal uh, to the email as well? I Thank will. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, I broke it right off. It was it's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll send you some emails. Okay, thank you. And we'll get her loaded. Yes. So back to what we were, say, what we were saying. So I could, we're not going to find probably nothing valuable right here at the front. Whoever it was done coming here and they may not have took anything. They may have just moved it open to get out. Of, I don't know. I don't care. Because but you would have left those there if you were the this was, facility. This wasn't a high dollar unit. I was wanting to get it was 200 bucks. I'm going to make 200 bucks easy pack. Well, I don't know. You broke the dryer. So yeah, I broke, but I mean, you don't really need that handle. Helped him broke the dryer handle. <laughs> So we're still gonna go through we're still gonna find some stuff i don't like that but we're not going to i'm already here it's 200 bucks i can make i mean that back off of this and this if it works and we got a couch back there i can see so why would i do you see it? a couch because that's not a couch that's a blanket over boxes there's a couch right here i can see oh okay so, i see it now i'm not going to reject it we're just going to load it up and go we're already here but if if something like that was to happen you are allowed to reject yeah. them because it is not that, the photo shown if you do that if this would have been a thousand dollar unit i'd have walked away i would have done nope done but this is a 200 hundred dollar unit where i already drove over here so i already got to pay for the truck i already got to pay for the gas so really if i left now i'd just get 200 bucks back you know i would think, rather have the stuff yeah i'm thinking well they took all the good stuff out yes they took a lot of the good shoes but there's enough meat left in here to make a profit. Yeah, for what I do, this is thrift store stuff. 100%. There's, I'm going to triple my money on everything. So, I mean, why not? And we still got a gun to go get. Well, we better hurry because this one's got a cleaning deposit. Yeah, so let's just start. Close. Close. Got a purse. I'm just upset about those shoes because they weren't necessarily, I mean... They're nice shoes. There, there was a whole barrel of shoes right there, and they went through the shoes and only picked out what they wanted. Those Jordans are not in there. They took out the shoes they wanted. There's some Jordans. Yeah, but I mean, why leave one pair? They took all the other ones. So, I mean, we're still good. I'm not going to call the seat over it. Did you lock sure. the front door, by the way? Huh? Did you lock the front of the truck? Yes. Because I, I don't think I locked my door. Are you sure? Like this ladder, I'll get 50 bucks for that. So we got mask, fencing cord. Clothes. Clothes. That's a nice bag, though. Get the thrift store stuff. Another nice cooler there. And it makes me feel better knowing they didn't dig in here. They just did here at the door. Somebody made that. He's ass seen on TV. I think somebody made that. Nice headlights. So, did we get ripped off? Let's see what we think. Let's go through his stuff. We'll pull it out and we'll see if we got ripped off. Probably did. Found a new cooler. We got another one right there. It's a Falcon cooler. And some bars too. There's a purse in front of you, it looks like. I don't think we're going to find... This is plastic what? Kitchen. I don't think we're going to find nothing like wonderful. 
We did find a TV just now, Lucy. But that's broke. Whatever it is, it's broke. But for two hundred bucks, that was it. That's all kitchen stuff. We're gonna do our. We're already here, so well. if we here's what happens: we either get it, okay. Or, or we don't. We reject it. If we reject it, we don't get none of it. And they're going to put it back up for auction. And then we have to try to find a... It ain't, other. hey, you give me $40 back and I'll take it. That ain't how this game works. They're going to put it back up for auction. We wouldn't get anything. I'm already in the truck rental. I'm already here. So I'm not going to reject it. I'm just going to take it. Yeah, the front half been gone through. Whatever. But this was a thrift store unit. Not I wasn't buying it for eBay. And from there back is okay. So... It was just from the dryer forward. I not. mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Shady Freaking is avalanche. Crap. That looks like a bag of purses. That's shady as crap, but. Her bag. Oh, that was wrong. I just seen that bag on top. I have seen a lot of that mud pie stuff. But I mean, it's still decent thrift store stuff like what we wanted. You know what I mean? What does that say? Papers? That's what it is. And I will leave personals with them. But well, we need to scout through that real quick. Yeah, we'll stack them up, load the unit, and go back and it. So... I always took in birthday cards. It's a dominant It's just pillows. That's cute. Mm -hmm. There's another new bag. Mud pie bag. Mud pie. Make life the best life. Oh, lake life. The best life. What'd you say? Make life the best life. Mm. That sounded better, didn't it? Here's something else, mud pie. Looks like a door stop. Tell from Stone Mountain, Georgia. I think it's a rug. It's not far, honey. That's literally a couple of Four years. miles. Yeah. Back. By the way. So it's another cooler. No. Brand new. See this? Atlanta Falcons bag. Lifetime warranty. It's got something in it. Books. What's the odds he picks a Bible out of all of That's where people hide money, Miss Courtney. They just didn't hide none in that one. Hey guys, Colton's opening a box and he had to move that trunk. It hadn't been moved. It was stuck to the floor. And guess what else we found to go along with it? Some rat turds. This is full of clothes. And I mean, take a look at this real quick. Hang on. Let me slide behind you, honey. See that rat turd on that couch? These are going to be some gophers. And you watch. I'm going to end up finding them. I always do. Just put that straight to the truck. The box is coming apart. Oh, check this out. It's Ohio State. Terracotta pot made. Uh, Solar light Whatever thing. that thing is. That thingy. It would be something if that was rotted. Is it a slingshot? I thought it was a exercise bed. Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! God, I'm afraid that thing's gonna pop. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Oh! Jeez! How many years in your shirt? I don't know what that is. It's a shirt? But I, I don't understand what's on it. How are we gonna get these down? The ladder? Where's the ladder? In the truck? <laughs> You're going to bust the cooler instead of getting... Was that a fat joke? No, I'm saying it may be, it may be dry rotted. Ever heard a fat joke? I think it's wobbly as sin. sin. I am absolutely speechless. kind of freaks me out. Like, I don't know if I can even sweep that up. It freaks me out. <laughs> so, we should have went with this unit. Let it go. 
we should have just rejected it straight out. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? She found a rat. No, no, no let I, me show them the dryer. <laughs> show them your favorite thumb find so far, Miss Courtney. Did you say my favorite find? Yeah. Not my We don't favorite. know what it is. Somebody, for the love of God, tell me what that is. If it is that gopher rat, I swear I'm I'm running. That's what it is. I don't know if it is. And something eat everything off him, nothing left but the skeleton. Like there's not even any <laughs> what is it, greasy <laughs> decay that your body puts off or whatever rats put out. Like there is nothing. It is creepy. If that's in here, what else is in here? I don't want no part of it. You need to sweep them up. I ain't. I'm letting you sweep. I can't do it. I just. I just can't. I need to sweep them up. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't. Hearing bones crack. Uh, I, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I can't do it. Like I let Colton sweep him up. So it's safe to say we're getting into uncharted territory now. Real uncharted territory. That's where we wanted to be. Yeah, but I mean, I expected rat turds. I didn't expect the carcass that I don't know what belongs to. If something made that go for what it, what was it? If something could eat that this down to the to bones, I don't. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of creeping me out. Give me a broom. You can use that one. That's garbage that anyway. Oh, no, mm -mm. nope. Nope. Y'all are saying, it's just a skeleton. Oh, God. Quit dragging that across. Ugh. So gross. Why don't you bring the dustpan to you? You're supposed to look at this little foot. That is absolutely the little chomper. <laughs> is it a rat? It's a rat. Oh, my God, it is. See these little chompers? Or a squirrel. It's about a squirrel size. Does rat have bones in their tail? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I don't know. But, uh, but Look, here's my foot for comparison. I'm in a size 12, ladies and gentlemen. That's like squirrel size. Squirrel! Honey, just... You need the dustpan. Hold it. No. Oh, he just... In the bag. So gross. Look, there's a bag right there. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm not even gonna hold the bag for you. <laughs> that was rough. That was rough, and I didn't even clean it. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm absolutely terrified. We found some mystery bags. They'll open for y'all in a little bit. I don't know what's in them. That, that one's like super heavy this is probably going to be the most interesting thing out of this unit right here it's either going to be books that paperwork or right tools there. that one i mean heavy that's my three things on this picture courtney thinks they were devil worshippers i know it's not it's i jesus. think they believe in aliens no they believe in jesus because the pictures back there are all jesus related see that's cool and then there's another picture behind it of like a angel. What what was that? What in the heck is behind that? <laughs> like what? Is it all the same face? Mm-hmm. That's creepy. They took is it like a bunch of pictures, you guys, of the same like the, it's the same picture, but like they like multiplied the head. This is a crook. It says cordless something. Phones. Cordless phones. Uh, uh, is that box ripped or is that a... Uh, <laughs> Y'all see that right there? So there's some glass down in here, y'all. See it? And a big old heavy crock pot sitting on top. It's kind of cool, though. It's got three, like, I've never seen one home? in a circle. You want to take it home? Not particularly. This right here you can use. Yeah, I'll use it. Yeah, there's so much rat crap in here. I think they're in that box right there, Miss Courtney. <laughs> I'm running. Do you want the knife the, out of the truck? Yeah, this is flashlight. <coughs> I need your, the truck key. Oh, I can just use it. 
Y'all think this one's bad? Wait till y'all see the next one. <coughs> y'all, I did not pick out these units. The unit I picked out was the most expensive one at a car store y'all have seen. It's a stereo and pine cones. A stereo and pine cones? That's a heck of a combination. I ain't lying. Ugh. Black stereo hammer. Yeah, there's a hammer in there too, I think. Just shank that thing. Why would you keep pine cones? And toilet paper. That's a nice toilet paper holder. I may keep and that. And a flashlight. They was right about the flashlight. Is it a Bose? No. I, I, I don't... Never I'm, seen nothing like it. Yeah, I ain't either. Ford. Here's the hammer. It's new. Brand new cobalt, son. See, we wouldn't have found that if we'd have rejected it. I still would think we should have rejected it. <laughs> now we got to get in that rat box. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Just -mm. wait on it. Mm-mm. Mm. Courtney ain't do... Dang! Look at all that red dookie! Yeah, they're in there. Ain't a doubt. Heck no! Courtney is, uh... <coughs> I'm gonna load the truck. They are in that box. They're either in the grill box, or they're in that large box right there. They're in one of them, boys. And girls. Whoever may be watching. Why do you always buy outdoor units? Just how I roll, Miss Courtney. I guess I can't send it. Mine was kind of outdoors. It was in a pod. I definitely thought that was glass, but it's not. Somebody said I remind them of a bull in a china shop. <laughs> I can see one. Already now. All right, y'all. So, still worst, windy. Worst part about this is having to pee and nowhere to go. The facility's like way up there. I ain't going there to look. We got a nice box frame, nice mattress, nice couch. Which I'm going to have to spot clean a few places. Nice love seat and a nice recliner. So, that right there made this worth it. I thought the couch was going to be bad seeing it, but it was really nice. Actually, really clean. Like I said, you have to spot clean some of the armrest. Um, we'll go ahead and open this one. This one is like, heavy. knock you over, kill you, heavy. Tools, books, or paperwork. I was not expecting dumbbells. Like mud pie stuff. stuff. No, I wasn't expecting dumbbells neither. It's 30 pounds. <laughs> no wonder it thought it was gonna kill you. Oh, oh, please tell me there's not chocolate in it. Okay. Shot glasses. Pies. This is pies. Chain. All your books. All your books. So the 30. Let's say 20 conservative. 20, 40. 60 $80 right there in your books. Let's not put the dumbbells back in there, please. I'm gonna agree with you, Miss Courtney. Okay, that was not, like I said, it wasn't expecting that. I said tools, but that ain't even near tool related. Okay, see this one. <coughs> As y'all can see, real quick, we only have those boxes left. Okay, a little bit of random. Yeah, that's pretty nice stuff here. Bible. Empty box. Is Wigs. that hair? Yep. That is hair. Twigs. Dear Santa, please bring me a big fat bank account and a slim body. Don't mix the two up like you did last year. Slim bank account and a big fat body. That's some kind of remote. Cool. That's nice. Put it back how you found it so it don't get broke. There's an old built in here. Bath and Body Works candle. That's what I was smelling. Okay, so just some odds and pieces. Yeah, it's not cool. bad. Pretty cool. Closed. I knew one of them was going to be closed. Incense burner and clothes, y'all. And a ramekin. And a rug. There's a rug to your right. See it? Yeah, there's two rugs. So I'm not going to pull that stuff out. We'll go through it more if y'all want to see it. What's in these bags when we go through them. We'll yeah, make if we a... film it. We'll probably just go through them. And if anything's cool, I'll show you later on. Yeah. Okay, so that's all we got left. And you guys, guess what? I still haven't touched those boxes. So we got this mud pie pillow. They, they were either a mud pie dealer or had a serious obsession with mud pie. It's got a crappie on it. Is it a crappie or a trout? It's a trout. I was just kidding. 
<laughs> Don't put it over with rats. Miss Courtney knows her fish. Oh, he over putting it with rats. You got a glass shield? Well, let's try to wrap that back up, please. Once again, you put it over there with the rats. Tower roll. Look, I threw a box a minute ago, you guys, and then it said, there's a roach. He just went between those boxes. So He's still very much alive. Nice pillows, y'all. Little nice stool in there wrapped up. Is that a purse? It looks like a bowling bag. Did you hear what I said? I can't get it out. Hold Did on. you hear what I said? Oh. We still got some creepy crawlies in here. Look at this. It's a stool. A little stool. That's cute. So why? Can we throw this trout pillow in there? I'm glad I didn't walk away from this unit. Did you hear what I said? Oh. We still have some creepy crawlies. Why are you worried about creepy crawlies? There was just a roach down there. Chicken? You don't remember last time we had roaches in the unit? We ended up not being able to get rid of them jokers for like sheets. a month. Sheets. Remember Box, that? Pans. Remember? Yeah. Roaches and stink bugs. We'll set a bottle on that before we go in. Pots and pans. Pots and pans. I leave it out the Living room. I mean, it's fairly decent stuff. It is. I'm like, I got the brass bowl I put in the truck. Okay. All right, y'all. So we moved those boxes. Don't see we only have a few boxes left. Fake. Most of them's fake. I don't even know who they don't have a brand. She had Prada and Gucci, but they were all fake. Mud pie? Yep. Lengthwise? What is it? Oh, it's a coin. Southern Benefit Administrations and Corporations. Silver? 9995 Silver. One half Troy ounce. Added a good. lot of silver. No gold. More wallets. You know, I'm amazed some of these snow globes didn't get broke yet. Right. Nice towels. towels. Well, they're nice. So, that's good we found silver, though. Maybe tell what else we'll find. Trying to be sitting in that box. Look at all them roaches. Get them, Miss Courtney. Scatter. Step on him! <laughs> Step on him! Got him, son. I'll kill the crap out of them jokers. That's personal. Well, okay. Alrighty, y'all. We got her done. Leaving all the personals behind. This is all pictures, bills, that kind of thing. This blanket is nothing but pictures. It's homemade like they had it done somewhere. So leaving all that. Now we're going to grab another 10 by 15 pretty full truck yeah I don't know I bought it for a gun I don't know guys we'll make it work so if you want to see that video and see if that gun is in the case come back and watch the next video um, I'll probably end this video back at the shop whenever I show you the couches so if you want to see them stay tuned what are you doing rest so y'all here's the couches we pulled out that other unit this is made by Washington Furniture Company. You can see it's a beautiful couch. This one is made by Timberland, and it's huge, y'all. It is almost 12 feet from here to that end. Like, huge. Got a big old ottoman leather. Y'all look at this. I mean, this made by Timberland. Y'all tell me, what would you price these for? Look how big it is. Never been set on. It was made November of 2021. I'm not sure about this one, probably either later, like 2022-ish, but I mean, beautiful couches. Neither one of them have really been set on. Uh-oh. I mean, they're if nice ever. couches. If ever. So y'all let me know what you'd price them at, and I'll tell you later on in the next video what I priced them at, so to see if we're close. And we also got the washer and dryer out of that unit and another chair, but those are the couches. So thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm filming this after the fact, because I'm a rookie, but... Thank y'all so much for watching. We gotta unload a truck. We gotta finish running the dryer plug. As you can see. 
I'm doing electrical, y'all. So we'll see y'all next time.